The Bible I'm reading today is James chapter 3, verses 1 to 12. Not many of you should presume to my teachers, my brothers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. If anyone is never at fault in what he says, he is perfect man, able to keep his his whole body in check. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small render whenever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boast. Consider that its great forest is set on fire by a small spark. This tongue is also in a fire. The world of evil among its parts of the body. It can root the whole person, sets the whole course of its life on fire, and it itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles and creatures of the sea are being tamed and I've been tamed by men, but no man can tame the tongue. It's restless evil, full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse men. We have been made in God's likeness. Out the same mouth come praise, and cursing my brothers this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water blow from the same spring? My brothers, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can salt a spring produce water.